you guys know, whenever I do something crazy, uh, I take videos of it because uh, the five-star Raptor is literally unbelievable, i.e. I need a video picture worth a thousand words. I'm getting set up for this beautiful show for the FMCA out here in uh, beautiful California. Great people, great show. And I'm actually towing a cart. People ask me this question from time to time. I've got my heavy bucket here. I brought a scale with me so you can see what this stuff actually weighs. But this whole thing is actually hard to lift. Can you see me here? Excellent. So I'll show you exactly what this all weighs, but no problem going off-road. This thing is the most powerful bike on the planet. Um, that's why, again, I wanted to make a video. Little bit about bikes, folks. 48 volt lithium-ion battery. I don't care what song and dance people give you. Do not buy a bike where they take three or four or two crappy batteries, i.e. the kind you have in your car, and wire them together. I don't care what kind of song and dance they give you. That is 19... 80s technology. It's like trying to sell you a VCR and telling you it's great because it's robust. <laughs> you know? um, they're not going to have the power. They're going to be a lot heavier. Kindly, they're junk. Okay. That will do it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Now, this will seem a little bit out of order. The gentleman who helped me film the other section, which I was very grateful for, he didn't turn the camera on until while I was actually towing the load. So I wanted to actually show that I'm towing this load, not like, hey, look what this thing will carry and I'm I, not I'm, moving. I'm still taping now. Did you want me to Yes, ma'am. You keep taping. Okay. Uh, I'm almost done running my mouth. Okay. And that, that, that's it. I just wanted to illustrate to you the power, not only to get uh, be able to pull this load, which I'm going to show you uh -huh. in another... As promised, I'm going to show you the weight of what I was towing. Documentation is conversation every time I'm always told. Um, pardon me for squatting down. I have my phone in my Raptor cell phone holder, which of course is stock, um, making these videos. Now, high tech. Brought it from my RV. I'm going to show you the weight of these just to verify that we don't play games. We mean what we say, and this bike is truly unbelievable. I literally have to verify what it will do because people can't believe it. Now, this here, the bucket, I estimated it was 50 or 60 pounds. Well, you can tell I'm a fisherman. That load, which was in the basket, is actually, let me move this. About 40 pounds, 38 to be exact. Now, I'm gonna set this down for a moment. Bear with me. The tool case, which i make sure I'm still on here, and I am. Had a phone call in the middle of the taping, which I just found out turns my video off. The tool case, which I estimated to be about 80 or 90 pounds, to tell you what that weighs. I think we'll have to put it on its side to get it on the scale. Ugh. a little more truthful that time it's 80 pounds let me show you should have brought my UPS scale a little bit difficult to see let me see if I can get an angle on this 80 pounds so now another point I want to make these other poorly made scooters you're buying a scooter for a reason for it to carry you Okay, not for you to carry it. These are indeed lighter. Other companies lie about the weight of their scooters. This whole bike, with the seat off to put it in the car, it folds twice, weighs about 65 pounds. I've heard of companies telling you their four battery, as I call the piece of junk, weighs 70, 80 pounds. Their literature's all over the place. They weigh 120 pounds and do not have the power that this has. Now, they also will offer you little Oh, well, ours has a cup holder, and ours has this, and ours has that. It's all nonsense. Uh, trailer hitch. People ask me all the time, Steve, did you, do you, does yours come with a trailer hitch? I'm like, well, no, be, because they're called bungees. Very low on my totem pole, folks. I want to be in the bike business, not the gimmick business. 
Ironically, the bikes that have little trailer hitches don't have the power to tow anything, but hey, they can sell you on the fact it's got a trailer hitch. The thing will barely carry you. At any rate, I wanted to verify. By the way, this little uh, basket, again, we don't want to be in the accessories business. I got this at uh, Bass Pro. I'll give them a plug. Bass Pro Shops, it cost me about $65, and I got to tell you, it comes in handy. It folds up quite nice as well. Take care, folks. Hi, folks. When I made this particular video, my intention wasn't to make it a uh, how is our bike different. Uh, it was one of the many that illustrates what our bike will do that others will not. However, in doing that, my goal in, is to educate people about our bikes. I am the designer of this bike. A little bit about me very briefly, and I'll explain why I'm telling you this. I used to design weapon systems for the Navy, tested the presidential helicopter fleet, did a lot of different things in a past life. I'm ex-military, was Air Force, went to work for the Navy. At any rate, I share that with you, not to impress you, but so that you say, well, who is this guy? What is he talking about? How do I know if he's not lying? You don't, but I do have a background in this. I'm not just a salesperson trying to sell you uh, their bag of goods. Um, our bikes are designed by me. All of our salespeople are not engineers, but they are trained by me. And I will tell you, one of the things, not only they trained on the ins and outs of our bikes and what makes them different, they're also trained to tell people exactly about our bike. There's no need to lie about them. And there's a lot of lying going on in the industry. If I find out that uh, someone had done that, I can assure you they wouldn't do it more than once. Uh, that being said, there's a lot of bikes now that because of the popularity of the five-star scooter look like them. They're trying to mimic them, copy them. Some are even claiming to be us. Matter of fact, I literally, you can't make this up. I had one company that actually Photoshopped me, went to their bike, copied our banner, and uh, I guess to imply that I had something to do with that bike. Once my attorney served them with a non uh, cease and desist, uh, they then photoshopped another head over my body. Again, you can't make this up. Had another company, literally, they peeled the label, their placard, off of their bike, their poorly made bike, and uh, put it in the booth and were telling people, put a sign on it that said, this is not one of our bikes because they brought in another one. Again, you can't make this up. They were also trying to imply it was a five-star scooter. Uh, I think they stopped short of saying that for legal reasons. But this is what's going on in the industry and the purpose of this video. I want to educate you as a consumer about electric bikes, a little bit about electronics. I won't spend a lot of time on that. I want to cut through all the nonsense and put an end to it all for you, the consumer. Uh, things are going on in the industry. Our Raptor has a very aggressive tire on the front, a knobby tire, because it has the power to go off-road. See, power and speed are two different things, and I'll touch on that in a moment. But um, quite frankly, putting a knobby tire on a granny scooter is like putting lipstick on a pig. If you put a fat tailpipe on a Honda Civic like the kids do, it doesn't make it a race car. It's like that as an analogy that you can understand. They don't have the power that the Raptor or a five-star scooter has. Cheap way to achieve voltage. This is a big game that's played in the industry. To get 48 volts or 36 or 24, a cheap way to do it, old tech used to be the only way. 15 years ago, 20 years ago, they would take two, three, or four batteries and put them together with wires called in series. And if you add up the voltage of the various batteries, it will add up to whatever voltage you want to get. In this case, if you want 48 volts, you take four cheap batteries and you wire them together like a flashlight with the batteries going end to end. That's not the same thing as a 48 volt lithium ion battery. Not only is it uh, three or four times heavier, it doesn't have the life, it doesn't have the power, not the same thing. It doesn't have the recharge rate and it doesn't have the stability and the longevity. It's a cheap way to do it. Now, they'll make up creative reasons as to why they do it. They won't tell you it's cheap. They'll tell you, well, you know, hey, we have a flat spot for your feet or or whatever the, whatever story they come up with. Or the bikes have to be heavy to be ADA compliant. Or, um, it's, folks, it's like telling you, hey, I want to sell you a VCR because it's robust. <laughs> it's just not, not a fact. And you need to be aware of this. Let me give you an example so that you understand. If I talk a little bit of simplistic uh, electronics for you, Hopefully I don't bore you. But if you took eight D cell batteries, they're 1.5 volts a piece, flashlight batteries, and you put them in series, end to end, like in a flashlight, but eight of them. I could tell you I have a, this is a 12 volt system, just like that 12 volt system. I could even prove you that it's 12 volts with a voltage meter. 
try to start your car with it. Not the same thing. The wattage gain. Uh, they'll quote statistics. You know, a person doesn't know they're trying to buy a bike. Well, how many watts does yours have? Well, ours has 500 watts, folks, on a 48-volt lithium-ion battery. It does the things you see in the videos. Most powerful bike on the planet, quite frankly. Um, I could put a 5,000-watt motor on that bike. Same bike, my Raptor. Not only would it be not more powerful, it would be less so. It's a gimmick. You see, it's you're limited to the power supply, and you need the proper voltage to supply whatever motor that you're trying to use. Uh, uh, properly, uh, without getting into too much detail, a properly powered 1,000-watt motor would have at least 72 volts or more. Um, analogy that you understand. It's like taking uh, an 850-horsepower car and putting a Honda Civic to two barrel carburetor when cars were still carbureted onto it. Yeah, great, you got 850 horsepower, but you know what, it ain't going nowhere. That's a real, real good example. Power and speed are two different things as well. People will quote you speed. Um, a skateboard is fast on flat ground with a good tailwind. Put a 200 pound man on it, put him on an incline and see what happens. Now, our bikes have a tremendous amount of torque, that's power which was evidenced in the beginning of this video when I was doing one of the many tasks I do with the Raptor. Um, now torque, power, turns into top end speed on flat ground, but here's the difference. When you have to go on an incline, these other bikes aren't gonna do it. They're not gonna take you up that hill. Uh, we have videos to document, again, to educate the consumer difference in our bikes. Not only going in three inches of snow, ripping across the field with that knobby tire and the power to do it, uh, but going up extreme hills, hills that you'll never see. One of our videos has me at, at the time I was uh, 220 pounds, uh, going up a 12% grade hill at five mile an hour, straight up it, a mile long. It wasn't a little bump, didn't get a running start at it. A mile long, no other bike will do that. And you know, you're not gonna be evil Knievel on your bike, but you're buying something and spending good money on it in order for it to do what you want it to do, which is carry you. Another thing in the industry, look how cute this folds up. I, the first two questions out of everyone's mouth, and I get it, and I'm not making fun here. Does it fold up? How much does it weigh? Well, let me touch on weight while I'm there. The Raptor, the most powerful bike on the planet, with the seat off, which is what you would do to put it in the back of a vehicle, weighs 65 pounds. Others will tell you that their bike weighs 70 pounds. Come to our booth, all my guys are supplied now because of this with a fist scale. Those other bikes weigh in excess of 100 pounds, 120, especially if they have multiple batteries. But they'll tell you they weigh 70 because they figure you're not carrying this uh, scale around. Um, that, again, weight. Does it fold up? How much does it weigh? We have an answer for both of those. I just gave you one of them. Our bikes are actually lighter than, they're about the same weight as an electric bike. Good technology, a lot of power. But does it fold up? Why, yes, it does. With no tools, it folds so that not one but two will fit in the back of any hatchback. That was my desire. So that a husband and wife or a couple, they could together do things again. Really, that's what this is about. It's not just for the handicapped people. This bike, um, quite frankly, people are, a lot of them are taking it to work, uh, using it for security. This is a really a neat way to get around. But ours do fold up. now. Here's why I didn't want to make fun of people asking that question because, and again, this is to educate people. Those are relevant questions. Does it fold up? Can I transport it? That's very relevant. But here's the question that's never asked that should be, which is really the purpose of this video to teach you. Is this a piece of junk? Will this thing actually carry me very far, very long, very safely? In most cases, the answer on that is no, but but I tell you what, you could fold this thing up and put it in your purse. It's fantastic. Well, that's good. I don't think that's why people are buying it necessarily. Uh, a little bit more about bikes. Uh, I've covered the wattage. I've covered the uh, battery thing. It's nonsense. If you look at the componentry on bikes and look closely, a Yugo, I'm dating myself now. Most of the younger folks don't even have any idea what a Yugo is, but a Yugo and a Mercedes, well, gosh, they look the same, honey. Let's get that one. They're, they're charging a lot for that Mercedes. That Yugo is the same daggone thing for just uh, you know a fraction of the price. Well, they both have a steering wheel. They both have a seat. They both have four wheels. They're not the same thing. And let me tell you, in fairness, they both have their place. 
okay? Not everyone can afford a Mercedes, but here's the problem. A lot of these people selling the, uh, or lying about their scooters, the weight, the power, and everything else, they're trying to sell that Yugo at a Mercedes price, and that's where I have a problem. You see, that's how people get clipped. And again, I want people to buy our bikes because they understand what they're looking at. My salespeople are not engineers, um, but they are all trained by me. They're trained to tell people not only about this bike, the ins and outs, but also not to tell you just what they think you want to hear so they make a commission. If they ever did, they would only do it once, if you know what I mean. Um, we don't have to lie about our product, which speaks volumes. I mean, again, some of the instances that I, I, uh, I mentioned to you, I find it comical because I know what the truth is, but. You know, a person that's, you know, looking at a bike, they, they don't know. You're not experts on electronics or bikes. So, well, what, what would I do? I'd, well, of course, I'd compare price, and it looks the same. And how many watts, and does it have the same voltage? I'm trying to kind of educate you that there's a little bit more to that than meets the eye. If you look at uh, bikes, many of them, example, the throttle is a great example. Our bikes have all, every Folks, every component on our bike is better than any component on pretty much any other bike. That's a fact. Throttle is a great example. When you actually drive a bike, if you can't make it crawl, in other words, it's kind of jump, it's because it's a cheap throttle. If they have a vinyl bag instead of a, a, a wire basket, not that you would buy a bike or not buy a bike because of a basket, but what does that tell you about the rest of it if what you can see is pretty much pretty cheesy. Look at the welds on it. I had one fellow tell me he looked like another bike. Uh, luckily, he saw ours. He bought ours. He was a welder. And he said, my God, the first thing I thought was, I was going to do was sandblast that thing and re-weld it. The welds, again, what's going on is people are trying to get a piece of what we've done at Five Star Scooter, which I'm very proud of. Uh, they say you should be proud when people imitate you uh, or flattered. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> At any rate, they're bringing in very, very cheap devices that look or shape similar to ours, and they're trying to pass them off at a similar price to what uh, what we've done and what we've achieved, riding our coattails, if you will. And again, that was the purpose of this video and all the other videos, to document and teach you and show you. Uh, documentation beats conversation every time. If you even look at websites and compare them, you're not going to see video of those bikes doing what our bikes do. Here's why. They can't. It's very, very simple, folks. So I, 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 I hope that this uh, this helped you. I uh, want you to buy the right bike for you for the right reason. 99% uh, of people, I will tell you, that look at our bike and look at others tend to buy ours. I suspect that the other 1% either didn't like the color or didn't like me, which is fine. That happens. Um, I am very straightforward and very honest and somewhat very blunt and some folks just simply don't like that and that's fine. I don't intend to change what I do anytime soon. Um, again, I want people to make the right decision for the right reasons. Take care and God bless.